need to refashion it somehow and I'm a little stumped about what I'm going to do apart from the slit <laughs> so let's start with the slit and I also like this belt as well it's, um, it's in an inexpensive belt but I want that to be part of this dress a permanent part of this dress so um, I want some kind of ruching detail around the buckle area I'm not sure how to do it so just follow me and let's see what happens so the first thing is going to be the really easy part that I'm so looking forward to and that is just um, and that will really make it look a whole lot different actually um, but yeah it's just it's just the bell it may or may not happen so let's find out so the first thing I need to do is this slit here so I'll try it on so you can have a look to see what it looks like on my body and then we'll come back and then I'll unpick and then I'll try it on again yeah that'll be the sensible thing to do this is what the dress looks like on I'll bring the camera down in a minute because I can't see the full length of me and it's very plain though I mean I don't wear it and I want to wear it more often um, but I want to incorporate this belt to sell it in there somehow it's a fabric belt very inexpensive belt um, but I want some kind of um, some kind of wrenching detail in there so it's a permanent part of this dress it's got a slit at the side I'm going to bring that all the way up here and I'll show you that now this has got a slit so I'm going to bring that slit all I'm going to open that up all the way to my waistline and that should allow me to play around with it a little bit more so I've got like a leg showing now I wear jeans or pants with it I need to wear it because I do like it it's a little bit see-through so you definitely have to wear something underneath well I will anyway hello fashion sewers I hope you are well if you're new to my channel I'm Colleen G Lee sharing ideas for refashioning clothing okay let's unpick oh this is a very good thread match to this fabric oh my goodness oh I think I'm going to draw with this oh gosh that is so well matched in usually when you've got an overlocking stitch you can pull one thread and it unravels but this has been reversed so many times not even reversed because you don't really it's not capable of doing it on the overlocker that is a, a knot and a half to the fabric okay what I'll do is I'll just cut this it will save time. I'm just going to cut. So it's all the way up to here, wasn't it? Get my scissors. And just cut. One thing with working with knits, it doesn't fray or just curl on itself because the way it's knitted together, it is um, it's loops on like woven thread or woven fabric, I should say. Actually, I'm gonna leave that hanging. I like that actually. 
Maybe not. Yeah, that's nice. And I can create an even wider opening. There. That's what I've achieved. That's nice. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. And not only that, I also have lots and lots of fashion sewing techniques to help you with your project. Let's get back to the video. Oh, 
I'm tapping the camera so you can see. Yeah, so it's just a case of hand sewing this down and then placing the belt on when I'm ready to wear it. And it also gives me an option to put all the belts with it as well. That's what I'm thinking is that maybe I can put, you know, a really jazzy belt on here that could just lift it a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go with the belt. I will wear the belt with this but I'll wear other belts as well. I think I need to do that. So I think I've achieved what I wanted to achieve in this project, which is really to sort out the dress. Okay, so um, I'll take it off, show you the hand sewing that I'm going to be doing, and a little bit of machine stitching, which is going to be just here. It's not going to be a lot, just to keep that in place. Okay, I'm happy. I put in the extra pins just to make sure I keep all that gorgeous folding that's happening there and also on this side. So I'm going, I was going to machine sew it but no, I am definitely going to be hand sewing this. I've got a lot of hand sewing to do anyway so I may as well just do that section um, by hand. So it means that I'm going to need to fold back, there's going to be no waste. Well. There was a little bit of waste, wasn't there? <laughs> it was cutting away the um, overlocked edge. That was, that was only a little bit. So I'm still calling this a no waste project. <laughs> so I'm going to put some pins in along here, and you can all you can always base as well. And I'm going to do it on the other side so that I've got that opening that I'm looking for. Hello, it's the following day and obviously I finished, well not obviously, but I have finished all my hand sewing. It did take a bit of time but the results are going to be amazing and I hope you remember that I was struggling with, with this belt about whether I was going to put it in onto the dress as a permanent fixture. I decided not to because then I could have choices of different belts about how I was going to wear it which was kind of like crossbody. Well I've had another change of mind and I definitely want this to be part of the dress. I do, it's just, it's been stuck in my head that I, I actually wanted it to be part of my dress. So while I was sewing um, which is great time to, especially when your hands are to be creative. My mind's always going and um, yeah, I decided that I'm going to make this a permanent feature onto a dress, so I'm going to cut it. So it's going to be a little bit left over, but I'm sure I'll put it into another project. Um, so let me so show you how I'm going to do that. But before that, let me just show you the hand sewing that I've done on the actual dress. I have done two types of hand sewing stitches. On the outside of the garment, of the dress, I did slip stitching around here. The slip stitching is, is hidden so you can't see it, so that looks gorgeous. And also along here. And the long slit as well on both sides. On the inside I did a different type of hand sewing, which is a herringbone stitch which is that one there, you see. So this allows for movement. So let's try it on and see how I'm going to be placing this belt or some of this belt onto this dress. 
Where is that belt? So what I want to do is cut the belt roughly about here, place it over there. Yeah, that'd be nice. Place it there. And then the other end will come that way. And I'll cut it so it comes there. So it's literally just half the belt. I just think that I'm happy with that rather than the other option, which I showed you earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Yeah, there we go. I've put markers in where I want to cut. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Save for another product, I'm sure. Okay, so now then, it's just a case of placing it onto the dress. I put a clip on the back for the dress where I was going to position the longer piece. And I'm going to use a sewing machine for this. <laughs> I may do a little bit of hand stitching once I've sewn it in place. But that's where that goes. Slightly at an angle. And place it pin. Okay. And the other one is this side, fold that back, it's about over there, yes. Now what I'm going to do is take it to a sewing machine and just sew straight down that's it, and then it'll become functional. I've made the right choice. <gasps> that is gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Yeah. <gasps> so happy with that. Good result, good project. Yeah. I definitely think I made the right choice. It's gorgeous. I love it. I really do. Um, I knew it was meant to be part of this dress somehow around this area where the slit is and um, rather than crossbody. So I'm totally happy with the results. So yes, with that said, the advice and tips I could give is, um, man is more of a, it, it was a design challenge more than anything else. It was worth the hand sewing. And if you've got a, an idea in your head and you know how you want it to be, just keep going. Take time out to hand sew. I would definitely say that because that's when the idea came to my head. I wasn't totally happy with my first idea, but when I decided that I wanted this belt to be part of this dress, um, I didn't really give my time, perhaps I didn't really give my ta myself time to think about the design part of it. But as I was sewing, hand sewing, it just popped into my head. So the tip and advice is, um, to me is go for it, 
even if it really doesn't work out because if, if I wasn't happy with this I would have stuck with the other um, option and changing out the belts but it's also given me ideas for another project because I do like that actually I do like that idea but it just wasn't right for this dress so um, keep watching because I'm sure that idea will pop up at some time <laughs> at some point in my channel um, on my channel so yeah um, and hand sewing is a secret I think for being that creative zone you don't necessarily get that as much when you're at the sewing machine. Yeah, I do, I do at times, but sitting there for, you know, a couple of hours or so doing hand sewing is relaxing, therapeutic, and it allows your brain to be calm and creative. So that will be the advice I would give. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and please do share on your social media platforms and also with your friends. And if you have any comments or queries, then put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.